All right, now it's time to put the muskrat on a stretcher. Now I'm using wood stretchers. So uh, I, if you, I'll tell you why they work best in a minute, but if you have wire, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll also make a video on doing them on wire. But uh, for this, for this muskrat, it's not huge or anything. So I'm going with a medium board. Uh, I've got two sizes. I've got medium and large. I don't have a small because all, all of them can go on. If you're only going with one size, get all medium uh, boards. But anyways, this one's got a little bit of a bow in it. So I've got the belly side here. Now just slide it on. And when you're stretching it, just get it worked down. Don't let the sides curl up underneath. Now, get it square. That's that's the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they'll have it off, off side. See how an arm is on the edge and there's kind of an arm in the center. You want everything centered. Get those arms so they're evenly spaced from the edge. The nose should be hooked on the edge and not be able to go anywhere. So there's not a lot of stretching to actually do. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be over stretching. So I'm gonna grab a pin and I'm just gonna pull the tail down until it's not loose. I don't want it tight, but I want it so it's not loose. So right about there, it's nice. So now come to the back, make sure again that everything is square. And uh, let's see, clean this up a little bit. And take another pin. I'm gonna come down to the center of the tail, that little chunk we left on of the tail, put your pin in that chunk, okay? So now, when you're looking at this, you have one pin. I do one pin on this side and I'll show you the rest. These edges, now, you don't need to pull, pull the center down very much, just pull it again so that it's not loose. You don't wanna stretch tight, but you don't want it loose. So now, I used to come and I'd pull, the sides down so they weren't loose and put them on the sides, but it's just easier. You come just around to the belly side, okay, and put a pin. So I've got a pin there and I'll come and do the same thing on this side and put a pin here. So now these pins should be relatively even. You don't want them, you know, one way higher than the other. This one's a little different, but that's fine. So now you come and look at this. It looks very nice. This uh, could be a little bit pointier depending on how you stretch it, but Overall, that's good. So make sure, again, it's still even. All right, now these saddles that we left on, roll them back up. We, you want you want to roll them. See, this is kind of in a big clump right here, if you can see that. I'm going to take that and just stretch back out. That muscle will dry perfectly fine. So now it looks great. It's on there properly with four pins. It should take four pins to do these, you know, the bottom. If you got a hole... Uh, that's the one thing I like about wood stretchers. You can pin holes shut. For buyers don't like wood stretchers necessarily because they complain that they can't stack the muskrats. Um, it's really no big deal. They're not gonna dock you for that. So that's just something to keep in mind. But now I'll show you guys, you, we, we're gonna clean this up a little bit to make it look real good. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is close up these lay holes. Now it's just a chunk of wire with some tape at the end. Stick it in the leg hole, and I just pull it kitty corner, slide it down, and just pull it right through. Now I just push it, I just push the, push the leg hole shut so it's not a bump. Do the same on this leg hole. Now you can see, I mean, they know obviously there's leg holes there, but they look, they look good. They're closed up. You know, if you cut your legs too short, you're going to have a big hole. You're going to want to close that hole back up, pin it shut. Okay, so also the bottom lip here, just like almost every other animal, you can just come in here and just, just cut the lip off. Don't cut way down and take off a bunch of other, a bunch of other uh, skin down here. Just make a little hole, it's about the size of a golf ball, which is plenty big. So just take the lip off and now we're gonna dress up the bottoms here. So I wish I had a sharp blade in here, but I don't, this one's been used for a while, but when I do this, I take my knife and I just press the knife and I pull the skin. It, it, you're not taking off as much as you think. It may look like it, but I took off, it's about an eighth of an inch strip. 
very skinny little strip and it just dresses this side up and makes it look very nice compared to this side. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. You're not gonna be able to see this too well, but I'm just, just skirting a thin little strip off of here, nothing major. And it really just cleans up that side. You're not losing size unless you're taking a lot off. But down here again, where the uh, butthole is, just make sure there's not too much piled up there that it doesn't dry properly. So we're gonna do the same thing to the, to the back side here. I'm gonna take my knife and just skirt the edge. As you can see, this is nice and cleaned up with a nice cut edge, and this side doesn't look as nice. So we're gonna do the same thing to this side. Come along here, and just go right along the edge. I'm taking a very thin strip off. I mean, that's about a sixteenth of an inch. So now, that, that, I, you can, if they're a little clumpy, just brush them out. But it looks very nice. So that's what you're looking, that's what you're shooting for with your muskrats. Now they're gonna measure, when they measure this muskrat, they're gonna measure to right here, which is the highest point. If your side, if you come up at a wig angle, they're gonna measure to this end. Wherever the highest point is on this whole backside is what they're gonna measure. So don't, don't try to take back fur and put it on the belly. Don't try to take belly fur, put it on the back. When you, open, when you do your opening cut, like I showed in the previous video, it, you're not gonna gain anything from it. They're gonna see it. They're, the hair is not gonna be flowing the way it should be. And last but not least, get a belly stick in there. Do not forget your belly stick. Now mine, I always just stick up on the side of the pin and try to keep it, try to keep it down the center. You don't want it way off to the side. Just try to keep it in the center and all the way up to the mouth. So now this is ready to be hung up and dried. It's completed. There's no fat. The ears are you know, not cut open. The eyes are not cut open big. We have no holes from any of our impl improper fleshing or skinning. Um, the leg holes are shut. The mouth is perfectly trimmed. The skirts are all trimmed nice. If you have a hole, just pin it up. You, you can leave it, I mean, if you, but it always stretches open bigger. So if you pin it, yes, they're gonna see it, but it's gonna look better. They're gonna know you put work into it and they're gonna say, oh, maybe that hole isn't as big because it's pinned small. It's, they're gonna have a hard time telling how big the hole is when it's pinned shut. So you might not get docked as much. But anyways, I hang mine, I hang my muskrats by the nose. So I'm gonna hang it up to dry and then we're gonna uh, wait a few days to take it off.